Now, this is a practice run, but it will determine when the Artemis 1 can launch into space. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this. And this is just the beginning of a weekend filled with tests. Uh, over the next 24 hours, crew members are going to test everything from the water tanks on the launch pad for like fire suppression, but also the craft that's going to be carrying the astronauts to the moon. <laughs> it's all hands on deck at Kennedy Space Center. Hours from now, NASA teams expecting to run through a mock launch of the SLS moon rocket, bringing astronauts one step closer to completing Artemis, NASA's latest mission to the moon, paving way for the first long-term presence on its surface. We expect to land about once a year for more than a decade. A 45-hour test countdown known as the wet dress rehearsal, allowing teams to run through extensive checklists packed with operations and procedures, all leading up to the first phase of the lunar mission, the official launch of the 322-foot unmanned rocket and its Orion capsule. A test flight lasting nearly 30 days, 18 astronauts, including a woman and a person of color, enduring round-the-clock training, preparing to leap into history, eyeing the year 2025 for completing the voyage. Bringing to life NASA's latest vision. Exploring the secrets of the universe for the benefit of all. This is the wet dress rehearsal is what it's called. It begins at 5 o'clock Eastern time today with a call to stations. And on Sunday, team members will walk through the launch process. But stopping only 10 seconds before what would be the liftoff. And training will not be streamed, but you can follow along on NASA's blog or their Twitter pages. The real thing's going to be awesome. And we're going to be talking to an astronaut in our next hour, Jose Hernandez, coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.